Hi everybody, this is Linda and I'm going to be looking at three bags of fabric. Here I have some wool fabric. It has a houndstooth print, really small one. Very nice piece of fabric. Make a good vest, maybe a kind of a hat. And this is also wool fabric here. Very nice plaid print or plaid weave and this is some knit fabric would be good for a polo shirt um, as you can see the design is um, knitted into it so it's not a printed fabric it kind of has a nice holiday vibe to it so I have uh, quite a bit of it so I can make a lot of shirts And this is also a very large piece of uh, fabric. It, um, I think it's like a light fleece. It um, has this, uh, these bands going through it. It's putting all these nice pastel colors. Um, maybe like some kind of pullover tops. What would you make out of this? I have a lot of it. So definitely would make something with long sleeves. And you can see it has uh, the, like, turn it over. You'll see the uh, fuzzy side. So, any ideas or suggestions what to do with this large piece of fabric? Because I have lots of it. That's always the problem when you come across all these pieces. What do you do with it all? So that's my dilemma here. So bag two. It's kind of an assortment of um, wovens and uh, linings. So this is a really uh, pretty print here. Uh, make good, a good fabric. It's a good fabric for a blouse. Um, it has also a kind of a nice, um, that's a texture besides the print, there's a texture to it. I'm not really sure the name of this fabric, so it's something I need to research. This is also a woven fabric. It has a really nice drape. Uh, also a nice print. Make a nice dress or a blouse. And also has kind of an interesting texture to it also. And then once again, not sure um, what this fabric is called. But it is a woven fabric, you can tell by the salvage. So you can see how well it drapes. Something with a, a cowl neck. Or just any kind of drapes if it was a dress. So here's uh, another woven fabric. It has a very nice, a uh, nice, uh, I guess, design on it. And it also has um, the colors are really nice. It also has a texture in it. So. Uh, I would make this a blouse out of this. I'm not sure if I would be as bold uh, to wear a dress made out of this, but you know, it might, depending on the style of the dress, work work out. I definitely have a enough fabric. This is a small piece of a bottom weight, so it's kind of heavy. Uh, I believe this is gabardine. Uh, it has a twill weave, and it's probably... Uh, polyester or polyester blend just by the way it feels again the only way to know for sure is um, whether you have a blend or 100% synthetic or natural fibers just to do a burn test so here I'm trying to show you the the diagonal weave but you, it's hard to see uh, so this is a uh, lining piece of fabric used for lining. This is a very soft, kind of a lilac color. Uh, this is 
Uh, also more lining. Uh, this particular one actually is leftovers. I used it to make a men's, a men's coat. Um, it was actually a long coat and this was the lining that I used. So, and more of that. And then this is up the paisley print. Make a nice blouse. And what would you do with this? Make a blouse too? So we'll see um, what you have to say about it. And this is broadcloth. So it makes a good, a good lining also. So if you do any kind of crocheting, like, like make handbags, so that would make a good lining. And this is not broadcloth, but it's also lining. So, mm, for jacket vest, here is some really vintage fabric. Uh, it kind of has a seersucker um, finish to it, texture. I have a lot of it. What would you make out of this? It is most likely um, cotton fabric, you know, cotton fiber. So, I mean, need ideas. <laughs> and then this other one also has that texture of a, a seersucker, and it is um, most likely cotton fiber content. This one is knit, some kind of a knit. Um, it's printed, as you can see, the back is one color and then you can see through uh, how the, some of the print came through it's kind of an interesting um an interesting print so it kind of gives the a, like a faux patchwork patchwork vibe and it stretches i have a lot of this fabric it is a velour it's a definitely synthetic fiber uh, i would make robe uh, robes out of this I would not make a garment just because it kind of has a stiff hand. And this is all, um, these are um, prints from Joann's. Uh, my mother actually bought this probably in the 90s. Um, so this is like 4th of July, Independence Day uh, fabric. So. It, I think she was going to make some outfits uh, for her grandkids. I know this one, she did make one outfit. I think she had intended to make kind of like a whole, like a collection of outfits with this fabric, but I um, never got to it. Only made one outfit. This is a patchwork type of um, fabric. So it's not printed. It's actually, they're actually pieces sewn. And this is more of the other fabric. So I don't know, maybe she got a great deal on it. There's a lot of that fabric. So third bag, um, actually this is some denim, woven denim pieces. Uh, actually I bought these um, at a really good price from a discount fabric store that used to be uh, local here. When I think they got bought out by the defunct uh, House of Fabrics. So I, I was going to make a kind of like a little outfit. So I was going to have a skirt. So I was going to make the uh, that short skirt view A out of one of the fabrics. I think it was going to be the small flower print, floral print, and then this jacket with the, uh, the two different fabrications. I was going to use um, one fabric, one of the denim fabrics, and um, the other denim fabric. So, actually, maybe those two pieces were going to be. I really don't remember so long ago. Um, and then I found I have pieces, pattern pieces in there. So, this, the, the pattern pieces in there are the yoke and the collar from the jacket. So, I guess that's what I was going to do with that particular piece. 
So, yeah, bad habit of mine, putting patterns inside fabric. So, yeah, so this black, the yoke and the flaps of the pockets would have been that fabric. And I'm guessing the rest of the, the red part, um, so the collar. Yeah, I guess the collar, the sleeves, and the, the lower part of the jacket would be the the other five, the other fabric. And so now I'm kind of puzzled. So I guess then maybe this large floral one was going to be the skirt. So I I, I don't remember. And I think inside I found a pattern, which was not the skirt. It's actually, and it's not even from that any of those either of those patterns. It's some pants. Uh, or some leggings actually I think it's a legging pattern um, so I looked up the uh, pattern because I don't remember what, it's, what it was so luckily now if you don't know you have a pattern name and a number you can look it up and maybe kind of find it because the companies did reuse numbers over the years so I uh, went ahead and looked it up and out of all the different patterns I saw there was one that I know I have that pattern, so I'm guessing it was this one. So this was the top, actually. I did make that top back in, I think it was the 80s. So a lot of big size, oversized shirts. So here is some quilted fabric and pre-quilted fabric. It's definitely all synthetic fibers, most likely polyester. And then that kind of gold finish there is it's kind of just, um, I don't know how I'm kind of pressed into it. So I might make a, either a lining or a jacket. This was also bought from a local fabric shop. Um, actually, it still is in business, though they are not in the same location. Um, this is like a faux suede. It has a very nice hand, and it was supposed to have been really cheap because I have a lot of this fabric. And the fabric in that store usually was um, very inexpensive. And... Um, I don't know. I guess I never, I don't know, remember if I had any ideas for this. I know I did make some things out of this, uh, which I'll show you, um, what I made. I, one of these, I made this little handbag. Um, so the lining there, that's just, um, fabric, most likely a hundred percent cotton. And, uh, the beading also came from that store, which also was really inexpensive. And there's a little handbag you just carry it on your arm. Uh, some of the criticism I received was it should have a shoulder strap, which, yeah, I guess that's a valid point. Um, yeah, I just felt like making something cute like that, and that's what I made. And I sold, uh, sold those. I made some different, different ones, but that was one of the ones. Bunch of pre-cut fabric from uh, Tops. This is a cotton poly blend. I can just tell by the way it felt, the hand on it, and uh, so obviously something lined that I was making. So some of these pieces, let's see, it's actually a top that's pretty much finished. Um, it just needs the sleeves and then to be closed up and hemmed. So for an uh, unfinished project of I'm sure there are, I'm going to come across several of those. And so this is some more tops, pieces, pieces of the top. This is a kind of a muslin. And there's another piece um, of muslin and that's it. So that's it for now. So, so there's three bags that I've now reorganized.